Pastor Jordan's office is still dark and empty, which means you get me for a couple more weeks of our news. My name is Thomas, I'm your Next Gen Pastor, and we've got to talk about 21 Days of Hope, Easter, Baptism, and our Kingdom Builder Spotlight of Young Life. There's an email that comes out every Monday morning and uh, once it say 10, yeah, it comes out right at 10 o'clock. And even though I work here, and even though I sit in on staff meeting, and even though I get emails, and even though there are whiteboards with calendars and things that come out, I find I still don't quite know everything that's going on because there's so much going on here at the church. So uh, I gotta make sure I take a little scroll through this email to make sure I do know everything that is happening. Oh, here's a good example. 21 Days of Hope. Don't miss out on the 21 Days of Hope leading up to Easter. Each day will be encouraged and be challenged. If you want to join, text the word HOPE to 443-960-7296. It begins March 9th. I'm going to need, I think, to talk to Pastor Mary get a little bit more information for me and for you on what 21 days of hope is. Because my mama taught me don't just send random words to random numbers. So yeah, let's go find her. Hey guys, I would absolutely love to share a little bit more with you about what the 21 days of hope is. You're gonna receive a daily email and some text messages that are going to help with um, giving you hope or allowing hope to be seen through you. And um, so many people are gonna be able to experience God's love in some way through some of the challenges that will be sent over these 21 days. And I can't wait to see the impact that it's gonna make in this area. So know that our team is gonna be praying for you over the 21 days of hope that God would use you in incredible ways. It's March, you know what that means. It means Easter. Easter is literally this month. What? Easter is this month? This month? Like, we just had a snow day. How is Easter this month? We need to check this out. Where are my keys? Okay. He's right. There's Easter stuff everywhere. It's this month. Did you pause me? Yeah, man, I pause you. You can't just you drop bombs me. about Easter like that. Why did you pause me? I'm, you should be worried about how we're talking. Like, uh, to me. Yeah, I guess that's a good question, too. How yeah. are we talking to each other? I don't know how we're talking to each other. It's ridiculous. Are you me? Uh, no, I'm me. Am I, wait, am I you? No, no, I'm me, are you're you. you. Like, we, my inner thoughts? Or, how did, no, I, look, dude, I just needed to go take a drive, take the truck you out. Did my truck? Yeah, I took how the truck. my truck? Because it's my truck. I had keys. I had to go to Walmart. See what's up with Easter. Uh, Focus, bro. Okay. No, you're probably right. We should yeah. do that. Easter. Easter is this month. Tell them about it. And uh, last year we had over 500 people come onto the property here at Restored right, Church. Right, that's a lot of people. So we're going to have three services this year for you. A 7 a.m. service, which is a sunrise service. However, since it's March and it could be cold, we're going to do that sunrise service indoors at the Octagon. Remember, that is our office building. We're also going to have services at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. And during that time, we're gonna have the Easter Carnival from 10.30 to 12.30 for kids and families to enjoy coming out of the nine o'clock, uh, during the 11 o'clock. We've got a lot of great things planned. Make sure you're paying attention over the next month to get details, to make your plans, to schedule Easter, which is this month. You see that other guy, or me. I'm so confused. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Am I okay? No. From the Gospel, Luke chapter 3, it says, When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened up and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. God is declaring 
that Jesus is his son. And that's what baptism is. Baptism, there's nothing magical about it, but baptism is a declaration to the world that you are accepting Jesus as sacrifice for you. So let's do something exciting this year on Easter. How about Baptism Sunday on Easter Sunday? Pausing for applause. Yeah! If you want to be baptized, if you want to declare to the world, let's do it on Easter Sunday. Go to restorechurch.net and register online to be baptized so that we can prepare, so that we can be organized for making this amazing Sunday happen. Come on, church. Baptism Easter Sunday? This week, Kingdom Builders would like to highlight Kevin and Carol Maher with Young Life in Harford County. Young Life in Harford County has been experiencing an exciting season. The weekend of December 1st through the 3rd, it took 50 kids on a trip to North Bay where kids heard the gospel clearly and many of them made significant steps in their faith. This is the largest trip they have taken in the past 10 years in this area. Additionally, three of the Young Life leaders have started meeting with small groups of kids over the past month and have found that students are hungry to get into the Word of God and learn about what it says for themselves. The Lord is moving and basements where they meet are consistently being filled with anywhere from 40 to 60 kids. Please pray for continued growth and for more volunteer leaders as two of their male leaders have recently stepped down since December, but kids keep pouring in. Kingdom Builders is proud to support Kevin and Carol Marr along with the Young Life team as they continue to meet the spiritual needs of teens in Harvard County.